The stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. We're at the home of City this evening. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Manchester City facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, with the final so close, really important for both sets of players to stay in the now. Block the final out of the mind. Stay in the semi-final and do your job. And number seven, Raheem Sterling. the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Raheem Sterling plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Emre Chan plays with Thomas Delaney in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. De Bruyne. Gundogan. Mares. Must take the lead here. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, here's the replay and the passing move is almost unstoppable. The movement is key for me and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Gundogan. Sergio Aguero has it. Given away by City. Making progress. And it's Marco Reus. And that's it. A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, he's furious, and why not? They've thrown this lead away. Says Royce onto Sancho. A diving stop of quality from Ederson. Well, he's got springs in his boots, hasn't he? Look at that. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Emre Jan. 
exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it well as we look at this again the keepers every right to ask where his back line was but 2v1 in the end he's thinking now is he going to pass or go around me he's got no chance Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better of him, Derek. His players need help here. And now, passing it through, and it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at his best. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Now a potentially dangerous position for Sissi. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. It's got to be! And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Well, he knows that's a bad goal to give away. His disappointment is obvious. They are. And so it is full time. The referee brings an end to the proceedings. And it is a story of Borussia Dortmund in charge of this tie. Still, they have work to do as they try to finish the job in the return leg. Well, Derek, going into the second leg of the semi-final, you've got to remind yourself of the scoreline. You have a small advantage. Can you keep that? Can you keep your nerve only 90 minutes away from that golden final? Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarz-Gelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And Manchester City know they must turn things around in the second and decisive leg of this Champions League semi-final. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Manchester City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. City with plenty of work to do after that first leg. Far from over, though, if they can nick a goal in the first half and get a bit of momentum going, I think they'll fancy their chances of going through. Dortmund. Roman Burki begins in goal. Dan Axel Zagadou starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Emre Chan plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Do 
introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Well, we normally know going in how they're going to play, Lee. It's all about ball control, possession. What that does is get you up the pitch with possession and a lot of numbers around the ball. The weakness of this is if you lose the ball, you have to win the ball back early. So there will be a high press following if they were to lose the ball in the opposition half. De Bruyne now. City move it forward with purpose. They couldn't maintain possession. Great opportunity. And in it goes. And now they're firmly in control. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Shielding the ball superbly. A terrific pass. It could be the big moment for him. And they scored! An important goal, but still a mountain to climb. They need two more goals because of the away goals rule. Well, here we'll see it again. A lovely passage of pure quality passing. Fluid as you like. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. They've won the ball back quickly. Gundogan. And dispossessed. And snuffing out the danger. It's Bernardo Silva. You'll be hard-pressed to see many better saves than that. Roman Burki. Can they hit on the break? End product or not. And in the back of the net, a two goal cushion now in this tie. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. And he's dispatched it. Well, they've left it really late here. They need another goal in order to send this game into extra time. And here it is again. It's a great team passing move to set up the chance. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Rodri has someone to play it to and somehow he prevents a goal well it looked a certain goal Derek the agility, the reflex is unbelievable and the sound of the referee's whistle Borussia Dortmund are going to the final don't you just love a semi-final so much at stake and that's why we're seeing these scenes here now total elation the final has been reached and total devastation for the losers.
small margins indeed. Great drama.